It is Friday, you mentees, and this is the Uncanny Omar from Nearman Condition. Join me today as I give you an overview of the Daredevil Electra Love and War Gallery Edition from Marvel Comics. So please stay tuned. Now, before I get started, I want to thank Marvel Comics and David Gabriel for sending us a copy of this Gallery Edition. This is Daredevil Electra Love and War. Although it primarily focuses on Electra, and I'll talk about why here in a second. Here's the back cover. It does not have a dust jacket, and I'll compare it to the size of an omnibus here in a second, and retails for $39.99. Here is the Electra Omnibus by Frank Miller and Bill Sienkiewicz, and here is the Gallery Edition. So as you can tell, it is bigger. Here it is compared to the size of the History of the Marvel Universe Gallery Edition. As you can tell, it's longer. And again, it is a hardcover. Okay, let's get this opened. Daredevil Electra Love and War. So, the title Love and War comes originally from the Daredevil graphic novel Love and War that originally came out in 1984, 82 maybe. And that's what this contains. And that's what we're looking at here. And it also contains Electra Assassin 1 through 8. And that originally came out in 86, and it was part of the Marvel Epic line of comics. So it was a lot more adult-oriented, and so you can have sex and violence, pretty much. Which is the way that I would describe Bill Sienkiewicz's artwork as sex, drugs, rock and roll. It was the 80s. So this is Daredevil Love and War. And even though it's called Daredevil Love and War, it is written, all of this, by the way, is written by Frank Miller. I would say that this story is more of a Kingpin story than a Daredevil story. Pretty much it is the story of Kingpin trying to make his wife better. Vanessa, right? Who's been in a coma. He's trying to wake her up. So what does he do? He kidnaps a French doctor's wife. And of course, Daredevil gets involved. And there's all sorts of trouble and misunderstanding. And here is the type of artwork that you will find in here from Bill Sienkiewicz. It is trippy, to say the least. Now, I held this up earlier for a reason. Because this omnibus contains the Electra Assassin 8 issue series. And if you have the companion omnibus by Frank Miller, this contains Daredevil, Love and War. So if you have both of those omnis you can pass on this book unless you're a huge fan of either the story or Bill Sienkiewicz's artwork which is the big selling point for this wonderful book the paper quality by the way before I look at Electra Assassin here is this thick glossy paper so it's interesting to look at it this way. I know there's artist edition out there and you know, I've said it before on my channel that there's no way I can get those because I have an addictive personality and I will go and buy every single one of the artist editions and I can't I can't do that to my wallet or my wife or my space that I have left. So let's see here. So this is Electra Assassin. And this is a pretty interesting story because this, as trippy as you thought Love and War was, without giving spoilers away, this is way more trippier than that. There's something about Bill Sienkiewicz's artwork. I mean, this is the guy that did the Demon Bear Saga, and he did Moon Knight. And there's just something about his art that was just so unique at the time. Um, this is the stuff that most people would probably see out of heavy metal magazines, right? We have this European kind of art style to it, and this is all painted by him. So everything that you see through here, it's, it's, it's weird that he just pulls you into this world, and I don't think any other artist could do a story like this. You don't know what's real. You don't know when it takes place, first of all, because, well, spoilers, but I'm going to go ahead and say it just in case, the Electra dies at the end of the Daredevil uh, Frank Miller run. So she's dead. So does this take place before? Or does it take place after the Electra lives? Uh, graphic novel? Wh where, when does this take place? We, we don't know. Did it take place? Or is it all just an illusion, if you will? So this story 
By the way, yeah, you can tell. Old school storytelling. They really don't make comics like this anymore. Look at the panel layouts. You really are reading so much text as much as you're looking at pictures. That's the way we used to read comics, man, back in the 80s. Taught us new words every day. Okay, so pretty much the story of Elektra Assassin. Um, it kicks off with Elektra in South America, and she's waking up in a mental institution. And she's trying to recover her memory. And from that moment on, it is this disjointed kind of story. There's some heavy topics in here that I can't spoil for anybody that has not read it. But they are pretty messed up. And this all leads kind of to the discovery of this creature that she finds out that exists. Known as the Beast. Let me see if I can find a picture. There we go. Really quick. Bill Cabbage, Man. And then there's all this Illuminati type of stuff. I mean, when you're dealing with the hand, what do you expect? S.H.I.E.L.D. gets involved with a new agent named Garrett, who has his own flaws. And there is a plan, because pretty much every villain in the 80s wanted to cre create nuclear war. And one of the things that they do is launch this political... Oh, I love these pencil drawings in between the beautiful painted art oh it's wonderful let me get over here really quick when one plan fails they start doing another plan such as launching the presidential campaign of ken wind who remarkably looks a lot like dan quell and for those of you that don't know who he is well that's what google is for it's the 80s okay so let's look at this really quick because on top of the comics that are collected in here we also get behind the scenes sketches and covers and original art i love this stuff love when they use original art in the back of these as extras beautiful use of watercolors the book by the way has 376 pages here's all those electra assassin covers posters covers to the hardcover the wraparound hardcover dust jacket the many editions of the trade paperback the Love and War hardcover, and it tell you the date and the year that they came out, and then some Daredevil covers by Bill Sienkiewicz, Comics Journal, Amazing Heroes. I haven't seen some of these. There's one in here. Um, where is it? Let me see if I can find it. Let's see, this is from the Lecture of the Hand. That's End of the Redemption, actually. Not End Days. End of Days. I don't remember this one here. I love that cover. I don't think I remember seeing it before. It's from the 2016 series. And then I didn't even know that there was a variant cover by Bill Sienkiewicz for Deadpool. So let's go back here and look at the binding really quick. And I guess before I go on and talk about the binding, I, I do want to say again, I realized that Bill Sienkiewicz's artwork is not for everyone. But to me, it is good gorgeous it's so far from the mainstream especially back then in 86 of what we thought comic book art should be like and sometimes you know it gets ridiculous but it works and there's a certain i don't know romantic feel to it um, especially when you're reading the stories here in electra even though the most darkest things are happening there's still this little bit of hint of romance to it and i always found that pretty damn brilliant of him okay so as you could probably tell it is sewn binding not much of an eye at all for a book that's 376 pages however because of the size of the book it lays over rather nice whether it's in the front or back i did that backwards here's the front yeah so Maybe a little bit of gutter loss, but not very much. Not that there's any huge splash pages here. Now, you can pick up this book from our sponsor, CheapGraphicNovels.com, your online home for brand new graphic novels and collected editions up to 50% off the cover price. Cheap Graphic Novels prides itself on packaging your book so they arrive safely and in excellent condition, as well as prompt and helpful service. And check out their bargain bin for even greater deals up to 90% off cover price. And for you minties, 
Cheap Graphic Novels is renting a special promotion. If you're a first-time customer, let them know you were referred by Near Mint Condition at the checkout, and you'll receive a credit for free shipping on your next order. Now, this is only for U.S. customers. Cheap Graphic Novels, your source for the hottest books with the kind of deep discounts, quality shipping, and customer service that will keep you coming back for more. And that was the build, the page count, and the content of this gallery edition let me know in the comments down below if you've picked it up if this is one of your most favorite and adored daredevil and electra stories should they have included electra lives again so i would love to know all those comments leave them down below please don't forget to hit like subscribe ring that bell for notifications to let you know when our videos are going up live and speaking of live Tomorrow at 11 o'clock a.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'll be doing a Q&A with the amazing Amanda. And we'll have a couple of games to give away some stuff, including this book. So, thank you for watching. And remember, stay healthy, stay safe, and much love to all of you.